French archaeologist Alain Zivie has been overseeing the excavations for the past two decades. Egypt's rich and famous since that first discovery, and they've just uncovered another one. There was sand, and with, I had a small lamp with me, and uh, I saw the, the lady. The lady. Images of her adorn the walls of her chapel, where friends and relatives came to honor her. Her body would have been buried deeper in the tomb. When conservators uncover more of the walls, more pictures of the lady come to light. Everything suggests she was a woman with influence. Very quickly, I understood that this tomb belongs to an, only a, a woman. This is very exceptional because this tomb is huge. So she certainly <coughs> had a kind of royal favor. Moreover, she has a lot of titles uh, showing that she, she was much appreciated. I was looking for a name and I found it here. The wet nurse who fed the flesh of the god. Zivi translated her name as Maya, and he quickly learned the source of her high status. In one image, Maya faced a young man with delicate, almost feminine features. He was wearing a pharaoh's headdress. This was the god Maya had nursed. His name was Tutankhamun. Akhenaten and his wife Nefertiti had six daughters, seen here crawling over their parents, a domestic snapshot from the past. But the young Tut is never shown in the family portraits. That means his mother was probably a secondary wife who died in childbirth. <laughs> 